Oh, I like yeah. I like them. I like the, the oh. orange. Oh. Look at that thing's neck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Griffin, where are you sitting, bud? In the, in the bed? Woo! Hey, buddies. The most personable animals here. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're getting something really cool for the fish pond, of course. We're loading up now that it's working, it's flowing. The fish building's coming along. Tell you what, projects are happening in there. It looks amazing. All my animals in the farm are doing great. Things are going. If you have not joined the family, subscribe down below. Something's missing. There ain't no ducks. That's because we gave them all to the VZ fam. The old farm we used to stay at where all these animals once were. I brought the ducks over to that farm because there was a predator here. The super low water tables right now until summer the water tables rise again. But we can't keep water in this pond if there's a straight mud bottom. The water's staying too low, the ducks don't have anywhere to go when a predator comes. And then the same raccoon I believe was what it was just kept coming back and picking one every night. So what any other farm owner did, he relocated the ducks until this pond project is figured out. Uh, who knows when it'll be figured out, but if you remember, you saw the video of me transferring the ducks over from here to there. It was a fun process. Catching those ducks was not easy. But yeah, until I get this pond figured out, I didn't want to lose any more ducks. We transfer the ducks over to the old farm, and uh, that's where they'll be until something, something happens over here. Just had to let you know so when you didn't see ducks, you weren't confused. And if you see any comments wondering where the ducks are, let them know. If you're not a member, you will continue to miss all the behind the scenes action. Just become a member. Advanced members get exclusive live streams, exclusive content like the duck video, and more. If you're just a normal support the farm member, you help feed all of these animals, so I love you just as much. Thank you all so much for watching, regardless whether you're a member or not. I do just do the member stuff because YouTube provides me with the ability to do so. I get to make extra videos for those who really want to watch some extra stuff. What the heck is that in the tree? Wh who is that? What is that? Griffin? <laughs> that is Griffin. <laughs> hey, Griff. Hey, hey. man. Great to see you. Yeah, just hanging out. That's yeah? where I've been sleeping. Or have you? Yeah. That's, Wait, have, that's the. He's the one he's eating the, ducks. You're the you, one eating my ducks, huh? What? You peep. Let's head over to the fish store right now. Get our new fish. I just had some things to tell you prior to doing so. Without further ado, let's get it. We're here, aquatic and exotic. They always welcome us with this big old saltwater tank. I just couldn't imagine like hooking into something offshore, reeling it up, and it's like this beautiful tang of some sort or. Who knows, you know, imagine catching that in the wild. First things first, before we get over to the fish today, I have to always stop by the turtle section in this store. And it always has the coolest turtles. Check out these guys right here. I love it. We got one of these already. I don't know if we have one of these. I mean, if you could try to pronounce that right there. More than welcome to try in the comments down below. I'm not even gonna give it a shot. I already know what it is. Look at that thing's neck. It's the same one I bought from Blake's house. Kind of a cool turtle. Just a bunch of different species. Look at those shells. What the heck? All right, enough of the turtles. Uh. Dude, I was looking for dude. you. Dude, isn't that what crazy? What is this guy doing here? I knew you were gonna be here. Hey, dude. I have your GPS. I put that one is on the back of you. Well, of course, we're welcomed here uh, with a bunch of freshwater fish. They always have a great selection. I mean, look at all these beautiful koi fish. I can't wait until we get our front pond done. As a matter of fact, today's video, kind of links in with a little bit into the future of this channel here. We have our 3,600 gallon pond up front of my house. We are gonna get the permits on Friday to finally put the liner back in and get things going on it. So I believed it was time to start getting things started. By started, I mean koi fish, goldfish, mollies, plies. We're gonna be doing everything that has to do with color in this front pond. Lily pads, some nice planted stuff, it's gonna be nice. If you don't know what a platy and a molly is, well there's a molly, but everything, as you can see, with color. Some mollies right there. And then we have, of course, over here, some more mollies and some platies. Um, such beautiful fish. These are literally what my channel started on. So I have a certain little special part of my heart for those fish. Down below though, if you look down below, there is two right here, monster koi fish. And the owner of the shop called me up and he was like, hey man, I just got these two big koi fish in. I think they'd be dope for your front pond. And I said, I'll come and take a look. Now come in and take a look. These are some beautiful, beautiful fish, especially with these long, long fins. I think we're gonna have to get those two, put them in the 5,500 gallon along with our other two koi fish, and then eventually once we get the 3,600 gallon set back up, which won't be too long from now, we can just take all four of the koi fish we have out of there and into the front pond they'll go. So I think two big koi fish is what we're gonna do. What do you think, Griffin? I think it has to be done. I think it does. We need some fish once that pond is started up to just go right in. We're also probably gonna even go to getting even little small guppies like this to have just color 
everywhere. It's gonna be known as the colorful pond. Color is just everywhere. Of course, live plants and stuff like that as well. I'm excited for the 3600 gallon, it's gonna be cool. In the meantime, before we net those out, let's make sure they don't got anything else we might want or need. Holy Oscar. Look at the size of that Oscar. Of course, this shop always has the craziest selection of cichlids, African cichlids. There's so many different ones here. Last time we were here, Griffin actually got me a bunch for the cichlid pond. We, well, they're not making babies yet, but I want them to make these. Little, little baby cichlids. That's, I think that's what they would look like, actually. They probably would. Not the white ones, the, the other ones. The blue ones. They're biting each other in there. I think we all know what the heck we're getting today. These two big old koi fish. Um, I initially was just gonna get the long, thin one but I felt like it was only right to get them both. They came together, I gotta continue to have them together. It's like two best friends getting sent somewhere and then one person buys one and not the other. Imagine that, that's called stressing a fish out. So we're gonna get both of them. This guy's cool looking anyway, it's gonna be cool to have. That's even a cool one right there, but I'm gonna have Next Day Koi uh, sponsor the entire pond. Next Day Koi is a link in the description I've had in every single video I've ever made on YouTube. Long, long, long time partnership with them. They sell koi fish and goldfish. It's called Next Day Koi for a reason. The fish will literally arrive at your doorstep the next day. If you guys ever want a koi fish or goldfish for a discounted price, super discounted, go down the link description, click that link, get yourself a goldfish, koi fish, and uh, it'll be at your doorstep tomorrow. Simple as that. Actually, for all I know, these two koi fish right here could be from Next Day Koi, just grown up. They do sell big ones too. Anyway, let's get these things netted. I can keep talking all day. It's time to net our Mondos. There you go. Butterfly goes in first. Jeez, that's gonna look so good in the pond. There's another koi coming in. Oh yeah. They are both still together. Sweet. I can't wait, they're gonna look so good. Especially in the front pond. See ya buds. Heck yeah boys. We got them. So long brothers. Get you next time. And you guys, that, these are the largest common goldfish I've ever seen, by the way. These are literal feeder goldfish that have just grown up. At look at this point, size. Well just buy the whole like, thing. I literally, look at the size of that thing. It's as big as my hand. Same with that one over there, too. I'm telling you, they get big. They get massive. Look at that. That's a beautiful one. Oh, yeah. Griffin, where are you sitting, bud? In the, in the bed? Over there. Thanks for your help, man. Of course, guys. Appreciate it. I'm sitting on top. Thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. You guys have a good one. You too, Sweet, man. Sweet, bro. Griffin, go lay up there. Up top? Oh, we got the other side open. All right. <laughs> Let's go home. Hi. Thankfully, we pulled up right next to the pond. Made it real easy for us. Woo! I got something to tell you, Gaffaros. Just this morning, I had my buddy Chase, another YouTuber who I just met actually today, he bought me a surprise fish. I gave him a tour of the farm and then at the end he surprised me and got a massive white garami. So, I have a smaller garami in here, he brought me a big old white one. Oh, oh, there we are. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Welcome home, buddies. Oh, one of them spit up a piece of food. See that? Wow, that white one is beautiful. Freaking beaut. What a beaut. Sheesh, these fish in better lighting look 10 times better now. Look it, look it, look it. Koi fish, two koi fish. Both my koi fish right there, and they're about the same exact size. These are a little bit smaller, but I'm gonna siphon in some water from my aquarium, although the temperatures are dang similar. I'm still gonna siphon a little bit of water out and get these suckers acclimated. I can't wait. Now keep in mind, these two and the two koi fish I already have in here are going into the front pond in a couple weeks, whenever that gets done. So keep that in mind, they're not gonna be in here forever. So we'll open up a lot of space for the pond. Also, you see this long, thin koi fish right here? He's got these long fins. Chances are very slim, but I do have a big old Paku in here. They tend to, sometimes, mine is very, very good. As you can see, he lives with a bunch of other fish, but they could sometimes potentially mess with long, thin fish, like nip at them. So I will be keeping a close eye on my Paku make sure none of that is going down too. And then, and if it does, you know, we always have another place for the koi. All right, buddy. Now, koi fish are very, very mellow fish. For the most part, these things don't go buck wild like a lot of fish, like, you know? They just kind of stay kind of still. Kind of, kind of, kind of, you know? Yeah, look. That? Yeah. See, like, that's their, that's their kick. That's their kick. Just a little, mm. Best way to carry koi just like that 
See, now no matter what way they go. Where are you going, bud? Nowhere. Sweet. He's with the others. He's with the other coin. He found them already. All right, this is the this is the baby mama right here. The long tailed butterfly koi. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the orange whiskers. See the orange face? Wow, and these beautiful fins. Stay still for me, buddy. We're going right in. Look at that tail. Wow. All right. Anyone even show us your tail? It's all right, next time I'll get you. I'll see you through the window, bud. We got two new koi fish. What do you think, Griff? Oh, I like yeah! I like them. I like the, the oh. orange. We obviously have nothing left. That right there is two new fish for the 5,500 gallon. Enjoy some underwater footage. fish are already eating. Check them out. They're at the bottom right there along with all the other fish eating away. Look at all these species. I love it. This pond is looking amazing. And it's such a large pond it's only like literally half the pond. What are you doing you lunatic? Iridescent catfish is crazy. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it make sure to smash that like button. I am extremely excited to make many many more videos on this pond. If you guys want to see daily posts Literally daily of what I'm up to. Check me out on Snapchat. Juno Paul is the username. I post daily. Go subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.